How's it going, everybody? It's a book pull. And finally, Wildcard gave us the dossier for the Jilling, which is the creature that won the creature vote for Aberration. Now, the thing is, I still think this is going to be like Briskin of the Danaicus, replacing the bleed damage with the Feather Darts. I don't know how I feel about it, but let's read the dossier and then we can talk a little bit more. Now, starting out with the Wild side. This feathered fella is so much bigger than the G species I knew in my days. Despite his hover and size, G Ling is still somehow light enough to climb to walls and it can even glide short distances. I wonder what other creature can do that. It slides on its feet as well, able to dodge attacks on the run. I'm glad G seems to prefer prey smaller than itself because it can inject a spray of barbed feathers at an unhappy target before darting in to rip them back out. I think this is type wrong, but you know, and English is not my main language, so I can be wrong. Its unique firepower may expose G in the short term, but its protective plumage regrows fast. Now, once domesticated, a tame G makes for an excellent, if precarious, hunting mount. Some tribes use them as caravan scouts, others to torment enemy forces. I've seen G's carve up the weird mushrooms, Kogwale gas balls, and nameless creatures scurrying around down here. Who knows what effects a diet like that will have on his feathery weaponry. Watch what your G eats, and you just may learn to sharpen his fighting skills. Now, this is not the exact dossier, this is something from the Community Crunch, so some things may not be here, some things may have changed, so I don't know what happened there, Wildcard. But, yeah, basically they mixed the Dananakis with a Velinosaur, and that's going to be the aberrant Dananakis, I mean, Jin Ling. Now, the, real, the thing that gets my attention is going to be that depending on what he eats, they're gonna have like a change on the feathery weaponry. So the feathers are gonna have a different effect depending on what you eat. Uh, maybe they're gonna do poison damage, maybe they're gonna do torpor, more damage overall, like slow them down. I don't know if Arc Survival Ascendant is gonna incorporate like other mechanics like sleeping or something. So yeah, I mean, sleeping is torpor, but you know what I mean, like other status effects. So, still, great mystery. They say Tame G makes an excellent, if precarious, hunting mount. They don't say if it's going to be a knockout Tame, or it's going to be like an egg, or what. But just saying a Tame G, I think it's going to be a knockout Tame. But to be honest, a creature like that being knockout Tame, I don't know. I still prefer the egg. It's going to be more than Anakin's wife, but like... We need new stuff, new ways to tame and stuff. I'm tired of the whole, like, knock it out, fill it with narcotics, put some food on it, that's it. Especially if they're going to be, like, that useful for aberration. Come on. They can do better than that. Or at least try. So, yeah. What do you guys think of it? Let me know in the comment section below, because for me, it's just playing all the Nanakis with one change of ability. I don't know. I'm not convinced. Maybe whenever it comes out, I'm going to be like super crazy about it and playing it here and playing it there. But another thing is like on operation, unless they change massively the map, where can it spawn? Is it going to be radiation proof? Yeah, there's still a lot of questions to be asked or to be answered, my bad. And nothing. But we're going to have to wait. Probably operation is going to be for like mid 2024 maybe because we still have we have scorch earth on december then we have ragnarok we have the center and then aberration so yeah probably like mid probably by summer or august i don't know let's see but other than that that's everything for this video guys really hope you enjoyed find it useful as you do remember Leave a like, subscribe for more official videos, any questions or suggestions, leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.